Live from studios in Summerlin South, it's Spence Knows News. Welcome to Spence Knows News. I'm Spence. The president made another verbal slip up during a speech late last week when he referred to Thailand as Thailand. But was it a mistake? He also claimed that he loved nipple, would like to establish relations with labia, and claims that he loves going down under to Australia. The president of Thailand, Stormy Daniels, could not be reached for comment. The National Park Service came out with tips how to avoid bear attacks, and bears aren't happy. They're not pleased with what they call inaccurate and unfair stereotypes. In response, an attorney for bears listed their grievances, including A, that bitch Goldilocks, and demanded once again the NFL change the name of its Chicago franchise. Steve Harwell, lead singer of the band Smash Mouth, yelled F this COVID S while performing at a packed and mostly maskless concert during the annual Sturgis motorcycle rally. Harwell apparently is still COVID free, but later admitted that he did catch chlamydia from this dude's old lady. McDonald's is at war with its former CEO, Steve Easterbrook, over claims that he had sexual relations with numerous McDonald's employees while running the company. No word as of yet how many times he dipped his McNugget in the company's sweet and sour sauce. So far, three employees have come forward. We've pixelated their faces in order to protect their identities. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet and cushy Now get a bucket and a mop, that's some wet and cushy I'm talking wop, 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 that's some wet and cushy Uh, clean up on aisle five? Now, for a limited time only, an exclusive offer for Spence Knows News viewers The instructional video, Talking Wop with Gam Gam Get yours today. Call now 1 800 NanoWAP. That's 1 800 NanoWAP. This has been Spence Knows News. I'm Spence. If you don't know, now you know.